Michael Martini is the president for OE Operation of Bridgestone Americas, and it's always great to talk with you, Mike. You've always got good things to, to get into. Absolutely, and it's always great to be here. You know, you got good things around. It's just a good environment. Well, we know it's all about the automotive <laughs> industry, which is both your and my favorite industry. Absolutely. So here we are, you know, as a part of the, the Frankfurt Motor Show, and I got to tell you, up until very recently, every single auto show I went to, anywhere in the world, always bragged that it was the greenest auto show. And everybody wanted to talk about hybrids and plug-ins and electric cars and fuel cells. And I don't see any of that going on anymore. What's the big change that you've seen? You know, I'm right there with you. You know, you couldn't, I thought some of the tires were actually going to turn green right on the stage, you know. I mean, we're certainly working that way, but that's just... How did the entry ticket really now in the auto industry? I don't care what component we're talking about because you either got to lightweight it, and we're lightweighting tires for sure. But you know, all from our perspective, you know, all the materials, just like the rest of the supply community, all the materials, you know, the use of aluminum everywhere, you know, all this stuff. So you know, I see that that certain change, and you know, the other watchword that I think we're seeing more and more that's kind of on that eco side is is really where we're heading from a sustainability perspective. You know, I think that's kind of the next watchword that we're going to see, and we're we're certainly showing that is it. making tires in a more sustainable way. Exactly, from your part of the business. Yeah, from our part of the business, you know, Bridgestone, you know, a few years ago said kind of an audacious goal, you know, by 2050, all the materials in the tire could be grown. You know, so your natural rubber already is about 25% of the tire, but you know, carbon blacks, essentially, you know, a gas derived or a natural gas derived, you know, product, but we're finding ways to provide those kind of products, you know, from fully sustainable, uh, you know, regrowable, if you'll let me use that word, uh, activity. So it's kind of fun. So maybe in the future, instead of uh, worrying about how we're going to dispose of our tires, we'll just sit down and eat them. Right. Well, I don't know about that, but certainly the bacteria can work on them. You know, no more putting, uh, let's see, tires in, uh, making reefs out of them, you know, it's because they last so long, you know, and we're not going to be in that kind of an environment. Yeah, they'll be fully recyclable. Right. At that point. right. So at every car show that I go to anywhere in the world right now, all anybody seems to want to talk about is connectivity, mobility services, autonomy. Is there a role in that for tires? You know, we're trying to figure that out actually, um, but we think there is because if you think about fully autonomous for sure, you know, um, you don't have your hand on the wheels. So the tire is going to need to report, hey, I'm healthy, keep going, you know, hey, I'm healthy, oh, you know, maybe I'm not as healthy as I need to be, maybe I've gotten a puncture or something like that. So. Now we just have a TPMS, which is just monitoring inflation pressure, but maybe we need to do more. And that's where the whole idea of intelligent tires comes in, where we're monitoring things like, hey, what surface are we on? Uh, you know, what's the coefficient of friction of the surface? We're actually developing technology that the tire can actually tell that to the vehicle. And on top of that, then you got temperature. Temperature is a great way to say, geez, you know, we, the inflation maybe borderline but something else was going on in the tire um, and the temperature raising that is a, a big issue for the overall health of the tire so if we can tell the car that and then the driver or the system then you know we're way ahead on a, on a safety perspective when it comes to our product which is of course is a safety product I love what you're saying especially about the tire knowing what kind of a surface it's on because that's where literally the rubber meets the road. So right. instead of having some discrete sensor looking at the road, right. why not build it right into the tire? Yeah, yeah. And we've actually already uh, developed the technology, and, and you know, we've got a bunch of you know IP around that that kind of thing. But you know, it's going to be interesting. Is that level of detail really going to be needed? We'll see. Um, we think that there could be a an important part for that in the future. But you know, you don't know. You know, um, do you? need to get that granular in your data uh, as you're moving forward. 
It's amazing, you know, you just think tires, you know, just this round right. black rubber thing, but when you start throwing sustainability and smartness into it, right. there's a brave new future for tires even. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, Michael Martini, thanks so much for bringing us up to speed on where tires are going. Thanks, John.